Right, you wee toilet head. I think it's a Scottish insult. I'm sure I heard it on Taggart once. Anyway, it's almost Burns Night, which is a very important day in, um, you know, Scottish culture historically. And there are plenty of giant full English breakfast challenges out there. But have you ever seen a full Scottish breakfast? Yeah. Fucking do you, mate? I think it needs a bit longer, or is it cold? I the black puddings no look cooked to me. <laughs> ah. How many? <laughs> Have you been on that whiskey already? It's got a little picture of Robert Burns on the front. Hey. Oh, damn. Alright, now, I don't know how to, to cook haggis, but apparently, you put some butter on top. That's about as much as I know. Can really uh, smell the sheep lung. <laughs> it wouldn't be a, a proper Scottish challenge without some iron brew and some tunnocks tea cakes. I'll throw up a calorie count on screen and then we'll get the time going just for fun. <laughs> Probably the haggis, to be honest. Oh. A little bit of haggis. Not the fried bread. Not, not the fried bread or the toast, no. Right, let's get stuck in. What shall I start with? Sausages. Welcome back, Beard Army. That's right. Wakey, wakey. It's time for some eggs and bacon. They're good. They are good. Do you have to buy the premium sausages? I mean, they taste good, but they take a lot more effort to eat than the, you know, the cheap ones usually. This is nothing new. I've been doing this for a long time. Good lord. I think uh, this Mrs. Beard could be an imposter. Almost as if she's not seen me do this 200 times before. Anyway, today we're celebrating Burns Night with a full Scottish breakfast. You know, <laughs> since that uh, Spam and Oreo burger, Spam's kind of grown on me a bit. It could use some Oreo. Right, what next? Streaky bacon. I knew she was going to say that. What show is that for? Is, is that from Wife Swap? i got to save some of the beans to the end because they provide much needed moisture. Square sausages? <laughs> I don't know that I've ever had a square sausage. They're kind of like medallions. Yeah, th these were not the squarest of square sausages, for which I confess I take full responsibility because I, it, it was my job, after all, to, to forge the sausage meat into nice Square patty shapes. Should probably eat some of these tomatoes. I just don't eat 30k on Instagram. Mrs. Beard taking over the world. You big shot. How many have you got? Like 110,000 or something. Ooh, you're hard. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't resist putting that clip in there. Yeah, like 110,000 is not that much. That, that's less than. What, 10% of the people that subscribe to my YouTube channel? <laughs> Your burp is as much a part of these videos now as me saying, Who's <laughs> Hey, I, I, I joke, but at this point, it's pretty much a statement of fact. I think that's like three videos in a row in which Mrs. Beard has done a, a shamefully immoderate burp. Hash brown sandwich. But, um, who, who's counting, right? <laughs> anyway, we're on to um, hash brown sandwiches now. And I'm, I'm not usually the kind of person to put potatoes in uh, <laughs> in sandwiches, but I just I, I thought it'd be efficient, you know, preserve jaw strength. 
the fried bread was dynamite, darling. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. Mrs. Bird knocked this one out of the park. I thoroughly enjoyed this breakfast, as you can probably tell, because it's only taken me like 50 minutes to get this far. How long have we been going? Whoa. How long? Only 15 minutes. That's not half bad. Oh. Wasn't there a huge outrage a few years ago when they uh, changed the recipe? I mean, what has just outraged me is that you took a swig of iron brew and didn't immediately put it. <laughs> it's, it's not the most refreshing drink on planet Earth. I mean, right, next we'll do the uh, the potato falls or scones or tatty cakes or whatever the heck they call them. Well researched as usual. I believe the uh, the official term is tatty scones. I'm gonna go with the uh, Scottish flatbreads. I'm gonna kind of mash the beans, the haggis, the mushrooms all together. There's a lot of haggis on here. Oh, did you hear that? Something very hard in this haggis. I don't know if you just uh, heard that. Almost chipped a damn tooth. I, I, I'm just being dramatic. I think it's more than likely a, a nut or something like that rather than, you know, some cheap bone. But I, I really enjoyed this haggis. I'm a big fan of haggis anyway. Rich, hearty. This was perfectly spiced. Lovely. I tell you, Mrs. Beard, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Oh. Oh. The last five seconds is like an outtake from my OnlyFans account. <laughs> Tell you guys, this haggis is yummy. Is that Did the sun just go down? It's got really dark. <laughs> well, there was um, there was some method in my madness because I kind of thought if I needed some help at the end, it'd be best to leave some toast. Because let's face it, you wouldn't have eaten anything else on that plate. Oh, most rooms. I can't believe you put a full packet in. That was just unnecessary. Yeah, what a scoundrel. Fortunately, the uh, the haggis was flavorful enough to uh, at least to some degree disguise the mushrooms. This is going down under 30. You want a slice? No. Mrs. Beard turning down a perfectly good slice of toast. I never thought I'd see the day. Probably something to do with its close proximity to, uh, you know, animal intestines but uh, you can see she's coming in with the assist now unwrapping the tunnocks tea cakes which you know are not traditional scottish breakfast items but you can't do a scottish challenge without these things or iron brew for that matter mm. miss me, miss me. you don't want me to kiss you after that i knew he threw that at you <laughs> yeah the horseplay Almost got out of hand there for a second. But I tell you, I really enjoyed this breakfast. Unpopular opinion. I think a full Scottish breakfast trumps a full English. There's something about haggis which just belongs on a breakfast for me. A minute to eat six. <laughs> yeah. The tea cakes are pretty much dessert anyway, right? So. So what we're calling it. Oh. Oh. Is it like a s'more? I suppose it's kind of like s'mores. Mm. S'mores remind me of the Romanian Blonde Prince or something. Like s'more. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> Uh, that had me rolling. That's the funniest thing I think she's ever said. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> this is a bit mixed food, and that was the biggest full Scottish breakfast ever eaten. Um, 
Oh. All I can say is, for the sake of the upholstery, it's a good job I didn't wear a kilt. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you at the next one. Obviously, I'm not going to eat the whole haggis. Why not? <laughs> it's like a four kilo haggis or something.